All right, I'm going to talk today about folding your hat up. I've done this at least two or three times in the past few years, but I get so many requests for this that I feel like I just got to do it again and, uh, you know, I just kind of update it. How do you put your hat in your pocket? Well, if your hat is a crushable hat, generally it has no leather and no lining inside, no leather sweatband, no lining. A lot of times it says packable or crushable on it. Uh, other ways you can determine if your hat is crushable is just if it's really worn in, like an old hat that's just really, really soft and like, you know, you don't even care if there's a couple wrinkles on it. You can do it, you know, the hat is, it's so worn in that you could just do it. Now, um, that's up to you, you know. If you're very picky about your, you know, your shape and stuff, you know, don't do it. If the hat is just really worn in, soft, and, you know, just uh, as long as you do the correct folding method, it's not going to get any worse. Um, all right. the, basically, folding your hat is rolling. There's no folds. Everything is very round, so there's no pinches uh, or actual folds. Step one is the hat has to be dry. Step one, dry. It has to be dry. Okay. If it's wet, you can't just you just can't do it. All right. Step one, make sure your hat is dry. Step two, open the crown. Top is totally open. Just pop it open. Pinches, creases, da da da. Okay, it's open. All right. Step two, open crown. Okay. Step three, brim goes down. Just flip your snap brim downwards, down all the way around. So I always say it looks like a bell now. It's just a open top, down turn brim. Now, if you don't have a snap brim that goes up and down, eh, it's a different story. Maybe your brim's already turned down, then you could skip this step. But basically, this is what you do. Brim goes down, top gets open, make sure the hat is dry. That's step one, two, and three. All right, next thing you're gonna do, imagine a line down the, the center of the hat. So if you put the hat on this way, the line goes front to back. That way, you're gonna split the hat in half. All right, so. Here's the front of the hat, here's the back of the hat, just like this. That way, we're gonna fold it right in half. So side to side, you're gonna go brim to brim and fold the hat in half. Just like that, brim to brim. Okay. Next, you're gonna push down, you're gonna flatten it. So what you're gonna get is kind of a, a U shape, like a U. So check this out, you're gonna push down here, kind of like this. But again, there's no pinches. This is very round. There's no folds. There's nothing that's going to make any creases in your hat yet. Nothing. That's the idea. All right. Hat must be dry. Number one. Open the top. Two. Brim is all the way down. Step number three. Step number four. Fold it in half. Step number five. Do that U thing. Flatten so you get this kind. All right, now if you got a wind cord on it, just ignore it, don't worry about it. Pretend it's not there. The band, if the band is like getting weird and wrinkled like this and stuff, just ignore it, forget it. Just, uh, you can go like this, so just forget it, okay? Don't even concern yourself, don't look at it if it bothers you, okay? Now you're gonna roll, but you're not folding, you're rolling. It's much easier either on your chest like this or on a tabletop. Don't do all these steps I showed you. Don't do it in the air. It's just impossible. Do it on the top of the table or on your chest. It's just much easier because you're kind of using your chest as like a, a third, you know, like a, a surface, like a hand, you know. All right. Then you roll loosely. Let the hat guide you. Don't do it so tight. You know, don't worry about it getting it tight. As the hat breaks in and gets softer, the, the roll will get tighter. Okay, so you got a, a cone now. And again, again, look, there's no pinches. Everything is round. There's nothing being folded. So when you open it up, there are no creases. As far as this wind cord, just don't worry about it. Forget it, you know? All right. Now, this has to go in a loose place. Breast pocket, like your coat pocket, uh, any pocket, a loose bag, like if you've got like a, you know, a shoulder bag, you put it in your bag. 
um, a magazine rack in a plane or something like that, you know, ladies pocketbook or big shoulder bag. You don't want to put this in a suitcase that's really tight and compressed. That's just ridiculous. It's going to just make tons of creases and screw it up. That's what everybody does. And then they bring me back these flat pancake tacks. And said, you said it was crushable. All right. It is rollable. It's a rollable hat. But what you got to do, if you're going to put it in a really tight, compressed suitcase, you know, the kind that you got to sit on to close, you got to put this in a box first. You just get your Nikes, you know, that orange Nike box. You stick it in the Nike box. That's it. Um, oh, these picks. I always drop this. Cup. You gotta switch to V picks. Those are the ones that don't drop. And this is a V pick. It's much better. All right. Anyway, um, put it in a sneaker box. Um, go get one of those um, liquor bottles that comes in a cardboard tube. It looks like a mailing tube. You know, when you buy a bottle of scotch and it comes in that little tube with the cap on it. Get that. Get a sneaker box, a shoe box. Take your rolled up hat, stick it in the box, put the cover on the box, then do your packing. So you got a capsule protecting this round thing here. You can't have weight on it and a bunch of stuff on it. It's just gonna screw it up. Even in a lady's pocketbook that can mess it up, you know. So yeah, you can roll it, but you can't put a pressure on it and sit on it and things like that. That's just come on, you know, it's physics. You're gonna screw something up. Alright. Now, opening it up. You just open it. Totally. Put your brim back on, up and in. All right, your creases will generally just pop back because they're steamed in. So if I feel this teardrop I had in, it just pops back. Yeah. Everything comes back automatically. Brim goes back, it's all sort of automatic. The uh, wind cord, those of you who have a wind cord, falls off. It's just normal stuff, put it back. All right. So that's how to crush a hat. Remember, if you're gonna put it in your suitcase, you know, personally, I never found a reason to put it in my luggage in the suitcase. It's just like, when, you know, you go on the plane, you wear it online or something, you roll it up and stick it in a magazine or, or stick it in your little, your, your carry-on bag, you know, the one where you got your, your music and your snacks and stuff, and the magazines, just put it in that little bag, you know? It's fine, but, you know, you really got to put this in your luggage, that's what you do. Get a sneaker box, a shoe box, a little liquor tube or a mailing tube. Roll it, put it in there. That's about it, I think. That's how you roll your hat. Um, the technique is exactly the same for a straw hat, a cloth hat, a tweed hat, anything that's crushable, you roll it that same way. I love this guitar. Love this guitar. Thanks, time guys.